The next step of the tutorial is simply to make the center support, which is going to double as our handle. Basically, again, I'm just using a piece of cast-off pine from a 2x4. And the sizes I used actually were a 2 inch wide piece by 27 inches long by 3 quarters of an inch thick. That gives me a piece that's fairly more um, substantial than these side supports and that's for a few reasons. One, we're going to glue this down and I wanted to have a lot of wood for a lot of glue surface to glue it to for extra strength. And it also needs to be more robust because we're going to be uh, driving a nail through this drilling a hole and driving a nail and then hammering over the other side uh, to fasten it mechanically as well as with the adhesive. So it needs to be more robust and that's why we've gone with the dimensions. Again that's two inches wide, 27 inches long, and three quarters of an inch thick. And again this is just a piece of pine 2 by 4 that was cut off. You can change the dimensions as you choose. But after you cut your piece out I went with a 6 inch handle space, so I found the center went to either side 3 inches, and of course I did a little bit of a, a shaping design. These are just reference lines 1 inch in from the edges uh, for that curve so that it's a consistent curve on all sides. And that 6 inches should be more than enough for my hand, even if I was wearing a glove. It should be fine. And then of course I wanted to scallop it out so it gets back to the full width of this piece that I've cut. And then, from here, you're going to go from full width down to a taper to a one inch wide down here at the ends. I've already tapered this edge for you, but all that is is a straight cut. All you have to do is make your mark so that this would be, you know, half an inch in from either side would give you a one inch width. And then just draw the line from that to the full width out here. So these corners down to here. And that'll give you a nice looking taper, and of course you can round the, the ends off so it looks even better. And that'll be the majority of the work for this handle. The only thing I wanted to do after this is taper it in a second direction so that you have the full thickness at the handle. And come down to about a half of an inch thick down here at the ends. Uh, half of an inch should still be robust enough so that when we hammer on it with um, getting the nail through, shouldn't be a problem, um, but it will reduce some of the weight and overall kind of slim out that whole profile so it's only full thickness at the handle. So I think it'll look really nice that way. Of course you don't have to keep your handle square after you've cut this out. I'm actually going to shape this with a, a power sander, but then you can round your actual handle with a rasp or anything you choose fit. And I would also recommend rounding the, the edges here after you've tapered it this direction. So taper it in both directions and then round the edges. I think it'll look a lot better that way. And then all we're going to do is glue it to the surface, the back of our shield here, right in the middle. And of course spaced in the middle from top to bottom. Should give you about an inch and a half. Again, I'm using a 30 inch diameter shield. So 27 inches would leave me an inch and a half on top and on bottom. Plenty of room to put um, some kind of edging around here, so that'll be good. But that about settles it for the woodworking in this project. If you're going to make a wood boss for the, the hole here, then that's obviously more woodworking, but we're going to move on to doing some stuff with some metal and some uh, cloth or some fabric. But this is about the end. Once you have this all shaped up, we can move on to making the boss and facing the shield. So I've gone ahead and cut out and shaped my center support and attached it, just glued it on. And you can see what it looks like. You can see I've just got the tapers as I described, rounded the edges. Uh, but you can see what that looks like overall um, and what kind of look that gives it. Um, this taper here, tapering it in this direction, uh, excuse me, right along this edge so that it's thinner down at this end than it is in the center, uh, I think will look really good. I think that'll work well. I'm still confident there's enough wood uh, from the center support that I can bang on it to rivet that down. And I sculpted the center grip a little bit more than I actually planned on. As you can see, I've got like this uh, bowed out grip here. More of an hourglass shape, I suppose. Um, but that uh, is very comfortable grip. I like it a lot. And uh, I think it'll certainly work for a costume, no problem. 
So again, this is just glued. We're going to have to drill some holes through here, uh, but I'm going to worry about that after I make the shield boss, because um, I'm still kind of troubleshooting as I go along here. As far as the shield boss is concerned, we're about ready to start that step. So once you have this on, we need to be able to flip this over. And you can see my hand pokes through, which is part of the reason why we have to make a shield boss. So the next step of this is to take a tape measure and measure how far out your knuckles. Um, hold it like you would, I guess, if you were to use it and measure off from the surface of the shield. Now for me, I already measured, and it would look clumsy if I tried to measure it again, but it was an inch and a half from the surface of the shield. That's the, the front surface of the shield on the other side of this. Um, and I needed at least an inch and a half to really be comfortable. And what that means is that will I need to dish out the, the boss at least an inch and a half um, for it to be comfortable, otherwise it'll pinch my fingers or my knuckles. So you're just going to measure, as I said, measure from this side of the shield over and give yourself some clearance uh, to the top of your knuckles and then add a quarter of an inch or something. Uh, that way you'll be sure it won't be too tight. But that's what it's going to look like. And of course, you know, you have to come out that far so that my knuckles don't get hit. So that's it. We're going to uh, start dishing a shield boss and I'm going to kind of walk you through how I do that, the easy cheater way of doing that.